welcome back to you and welcome back to me and welcome to all those who have come to play uh, in our next phase of videos on YouTube. So uh, I have been away for about eight months away from YouTube and doing videos but I have not been away and in doing intuitive readings on social media if you had joined me on my other social media um, outlets I guess is the way to put it. Uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram are the main ones that I'm using. Currently you would have been getting readings over the last eight months. If you did not know that I, I apologize but I am back and I am happy because I feel like I have more purpose again. Uh, White Hawk who is my spirit guide we often talk about um, living life with purpose and on purpose. If you don't have a purpose in life, then you get lost very easily, which can lead to, you know, injury, illness, <clears throat> depression, and so on and so forth. And so for these last eight months, it was very much like a death. Uh, there was a grieving process. I went through a separation in my marriage, and in that separation, there was an actual moving of location as well. And so I'm in my new home, and so for many of you who would have been familiar with my old home, you'd notice that the the artwork has changed. I love this. This is like a mandal. This is how I seen it and I had to have it the minute I saw it. The other piece, interestingly enough, does not suit my home anymore. It's funny how it goes like that and I'm still putting pictures up and I'm a very visual person and so I need to have things on my walls and to create a very comfortable atmosphere and this house is very comfortable. And I do feel like I was meant to be here. This is my next place to be in uh, my next phase. As my daughter said, one day moving in to, or a week moving, having been moved in, she said, it feels like our place already, doesn't it, mom? And I was like, yes, it does. Yes, yes, it does. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tracy and I'm very back to be very happy to be back. I do channelings from my spirit guard, spirit guide White Hawk, who is an Ojibwe medicine man, and he comes and he helps us with our intuition and energy in the world. So stay tuned for your weekly energy and oracle forecast for February 6th through 12th, 2017. All right, kids, let's go get White Hawk and see what he has to say for this upcoming week of the 6th through 12th. And just for those of you who have not been here with us before, I usually do a few stretches and yawn and stuff, but that has nothing to do with my connecting to White Hawk. It just relaxes me and grounds me more so I can get a better, uh, clearer message, more grounded message for you. Um, when I do get him so and this time around you'll find that I probably close my eyes a lot because I just feel a better connection lately and I feel like I can focus because oftentimes what happens is I if I see something move out of the side of my eye I can't help it you know I it, it can it can um, it can mess me up so I've started closing my eyes just to see uh, how I feel and it feels a lot better Okay, so the first thing I'm aware of, guys, or children, is that Jesus is here. He is letting us know that he has arrived, and he actually walks up um, to, I'm not sure who it is yet, but he has his white robe on and his Jesus sandals, and his hair is that lovely brown hair he has down to about here, you know, and he's got his little beard thing on. Oh my god, he's such a handsome man, right? Anyways, sorry. How about me having a crush on Jesus? Hey, what's that all about? <laughs> sorry. Okay, so he comes up and it looks like he's talking and I feel very much like like we're in Roman times or Greek gods times because I feel the person that he's come up to is carrying this big wooden bowl um, is also wearing like a white robe but it doesn't feel like you know in the time of Jesus with his white robe this feels more like 
a white robe and everything that you would wear as the Greek gods and so on and so forth. Um, yes, and I feel like we are, um, we're, where it is is that we are surrounded by um, these huge pillars of concrete, you know, that are so well known in the in the Greek times. So how can I say, the column, they're columns, I guess. That's what they're called, yes. And so the marble stairs and all that stuff. And sorry, Jesus is taking some grapes from this bowl as this man, I guess it's a servant, is offering him and he says thank you and he, he you know, is, is snacking on the grapes and he's looking around him. And I mean, it really is quite the sight to behold. It is so, like it's elegant. It's, it's not heavenly. It, maybe it is heavenly. Yeah. It is heavenly. And White Hawk says, uh, White Hawk, sorry, Jesus says, right you are, he says, like this. He points at me and I'm on the nose. He goes, indeed, it is a wonderful day where we are here today, Tracy. And I just want to welcome you back and welcome um, newcomers who have come. And of course, I want to bless those, he says, who have been with us for a very long time. And so he sits on the stairs. Oh my God, such beautiful marble stairs. And he just enjoys eating his grapes. Like he enjoys every mouthful, every bite. He feels the texture of the grape, the texture of the the vine that the grape is on. He can feel the coolness of the marble, you know, on his butt. <laughs> he um, is just partaking in all this stuff. And <laughs> oftentimes I'll get, while I'm telling a message, I'll get like another message to me, you know, within the message. Yeah, I know, it's weird. And they're telling me to shut up. <laughs> in other words, shut up and just sort of take in this moment. So let's do that. And he puts down the vine of empty grapes. Now there's no grapes left on it. And he says, and he says, yes, indeed. Too many times we don't just sit and enjoy the moment. Oftentimes we are more focused on the crunching of the grape in our jaw and our teeth and, and the noise, he says, almost like it creates in that. And we allow our gaze to go to people talking or someone perhaps who's haggling in the market or arguing. Or we allow our mind to overrun us instead of just being right in the moment. He says, and so I invite you to come forth right here now to stand, to sit, to take a deep breath and to envision this amazing dynasty that Tracy had described of these large columns and the marble stairs and the people dressed in white robes and what she did not describe to you is the countryside that I am looking out to where there are rolling hills and trees. And yes, he says, an olive tree. And so if I can sit here and I can take my water 
and I can drink it, and I can just look out at the vastness of the countryside and the beauty that surrounds me rather than the noise. Then truly, I have learned what it is to be in my day and to enjoy my day. So this week, amidst all the arguing and haggling and talking and noise, I want you to stand there and sit there. And I want you to focus on a place of peace, of quiet, of well-being. And I want you to remain there, even though there's all this going on around you. And you are very welcome to come here at that time if you want to focus on somewhere of peace. Rather than looking outwardly in your world, he says you may come inward and you may see this place and come to this place and just refresh despite all the noise in the world. Be blessed, little ones. Be blessed. Hmm. Thank you, JC. Hmm. All right, kids, so that concludes the energy and oracle reading. That is the magical place we went to, I have to say. <laughs> Do come and play there often. <sighs> it's so good to be back, and I feel so grounded just from having done that. And uh, I have felt so lost for so long not doing videos. I thought, oh my gosh, I may never go back. But, you know, here I am, back up on that horse. And I, uh, I challenge you to do the same with something perhaps you haven't done, but something that you very much loved doing in the past to get back up on that horse. So join me on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where I'll post on Mondays and Thursdays uh, some daily readings for you. I stopped posting daily because I found that White Hawk's wisdom is so rich in wisdom and teachings and intuitiveness that it was too much. There was too much there for you guys to take in all that he was teaching us with uh, five days of daily readings. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to help teach you to listen to your intuition and how it comes to you. It's a part and parcel of it all. So if you enjoyed what you've seen here, guys, give me a thumbs up. Say hi to me down in the in the comment section, I'd love to know that uh, that you're here. We'll see you next week, right here, right here. But join me on all my other social media. Um, what are they called? Social media platforms, I guess, uh, for his daily readings and other tips and tricks. God bless.